Welcome to Biochem Insights with Dr. Shefali. This video is about the ampholyte property, Zwitteran form and isoelectric pH of amino acids. So let's first see how amino acid behaves as ampholyte. So an ampholyte is a compound that can have both acidic and basic properties. Now we look at the structure of amino acid. The amino group of amino acid is basic or alkaline in nature and carboxyl group is acidic in nature. Let us see how. So a base is a molecule that accepts proton that is H plus ion. So being basic in nature, the amino group of amino acid has a tendency to accept H plus ion and becomes NH3 plus. And an acid is a molecule that donates proton. So the carboxyl group of amino acid has a tendency to donate H plus ion and become COO minus. Now what we get is the ionic form of amino acid known as Zwitter ion form. Let us understand more about Zwitter ion form of amino acid. So this is the structure of amino acid. But in our body, amino acids do not exist in this form. In our body, amino acid exists in Zwitter ion form where the functional groups are ionized. And what is the pH of our body? It's 7.4 which is also called as physiological pH. So we can say that at the physiological pH 7.4, amino acids exist in Zwitter ion form where the functional groups are ionized. And as you can see, the Zwitter ion form has at least one positive and one negative charge at the same time. What does it show? It shows the ampholyte nature of amino acids. We have already seen this. Yes. Now, if you are asked what is the reason of Zwitter ion form and ampholyte nature of amino acids, your answer should be pKa of functional groups and the physiological pH. Here, you must know that pKa measures the strength of the functional groups and pH, you already know, is the acidity or alkalinity of the solution. So, you, you must understand this that the pKa of the carboxyl group of all amino acid will be close to 2, whereas pKa of amino group of all amino acids will be close to 9. So what will happen when you drop a group of pKa2 in pH 7.4? When you drop a group of pKa2 in the pH of 7.4, so this carboxyl group will sense the surrounding pH of 7.4 as alkaline, isn't it? Its pKa is 2 and the pH is 7.4. So it sends the surrounding pH of 7.4 as alkaline. Now to neutralize this alkaline pH, what it is expected to do? It has to dissociate its hydrogen ions. And after dissociating its H plus ion, what will happen to it? It's no more COOH. It becomes COO minus. Coming to amino group. Now the pKa of amino group is 9. So what will happen when you drop a group of pKa of 9 in the pH 7.4? It will sense the surrounding pH as acidic. right? Now to neutralize the acidic pH, it accepts H plus ion from the surrounding where when it gets the H plus ion from the surrounding, it becomes NH3 plus. And that is the reason for the Zwitter ion form of amino acids. So finally, here we are in the Zwitter ion form of amino acid. Carboxyl group is negatively charged and amino group is positively charged at the physiological pH. And the reason of Zwitter ion form of amino acid is pKa of functional group and the physiological pH. Now let's understand what would be the net charge on the Zwitter ion. So the net charge on the Zwitter ion can be zero, positive or negative. So the net charge on the Zwitter ion will be zero if positive charges are equal to negative charges, which means the total charge on the protonated groups and deprotonated groups are same. And the net charge on the Zwitter ion will be positive if positive charges are more than negative charges. Or we can say that total charge on protonated groups is more than total charge on deprotonated groups. Similarly, the net charge on the Zwitter ion will be negative if the negative charges are more than positive charges. 
that is the total charge on the deprotonated group is more than total charge on protonated groups now all these three possibilities depend on the isoelectric ph of individual amino acid so let's understand what does this isoelectric ph mean so the ph at which molecule carries no net charge is called its isoelectric ph which means at this ph the positives and the negative charges are balanced and as i told you the net charge on the zwitter ion depends on its isoelectric ph so by comparing the ph of the environment with the isoelectric ph of the particular amino acid we can determine the net charge on the zwitter ion of that particular amino acid which means we should know the value of isoelectric ph right so each amino acid has a unique isoelectric ph which can be determined by the pka value of the ionizable groups what are the ionizable groups in amino acid the carboxyl group and the amino group let us understand this with the example of amino acid glycine so this is the structure of glycine where the pka of carboxyl group is 2.34 and pka of amino group is 9.60 and this is the formula by which isoelectric ph can be determined by so by putting the values of pka of ionizable groups in the formula the isoelectric ph of glycine we get is 6.1 which means at this isoelectric ph of 6.1 glycine carries no net charge now this is with respect to the ph of environment in which the amino acid is present which means when the ph of the environment is also 6.1 at that point the net charge on the zwitter ion of glycine will be zero so the net charge on amino acid depends on the relation between its isoelectric ph and ph of environment so now by knowing everything about the charges on the ionizable groups the formation of zwitter ion pka and isoelectric ph we can say that when the ph of the environment is equal to the isoelectric ph the amino acid will have no net charge but what if the ph of the environment is more than the isoelectric ph of the amino acid which means at basic ph so now the net charge on the zwitter ion of amino acid at basic ph would be negative isn't it similarly if the ph of the environment is less than the isoelectric ph that means at acidic ph the charge on the zwitter ion of amino acid would be positive but remember this is with respect to the environmental ph coming to the body ph or blood ph which is tightly regulated at 7.35 to 7.45 which is slightly basic so it never reaches the isoelectric ph of most amino acids because even small change in ph are life threatening and as i told you earlier even small shift in ph make big effect on protein folding and ultimately their functions so in case of mild acidosis blood ph drops from 7.4 to say 6.8 yeah so at that point we can say that the net charge on the zwitter ion is close to zero with respect to the isoelectric ph of glycine right and in severe acidosis the ph may even drop to 6 in that case the net charge on zwitter ion would be zero because it will then match to the isoelectric ph having said that you must always remember that human body rarely deviates from the normal ph of 7.4 now coming to the significance of isoelectric ph so the significance of isoelectric ph is based on the characteristic features that you observe at isoelectric ph so the first is no migration in electric field what does it mean it means no electrophoretic mobility and what is the basis of electrophoretic mobility electrophoretic mobility is based on the fact that any charged particle can move in an electric field so if it is a positively charged particle it will move towards negatively charged electrode if it's negatively charged it will move towards positively charged electrode but we know that at isoelectric ph the net charge on the molecule is zero so this characteristics is used in isoelectric focusing to separate and analyze proteins based on their different isoelectric ph coming to the next characteristics which is minimum solubility 
so i at isoelectric ph solubility is minimum why solubility is minimum for something to be soluble in polar medium it should be charged but at isoelectric ph the net charge is zero on the substance and so at isoelectric ph solubility is minimum and as a result precipitation occurs now in terms of proteins proteins are least soluble in water at their isoelectric ph as a result precipitation occurs which is most important in protein purification or isoelectric precipitation next is the physiological significance of isoelectric ph which is based on the characteristic that the charge on a molecule varies with ph so if the ph of the environment is less than the isoelectric ph of the substance the charge on the substance will be positive and if the ph of the environment is more than the isoelectric ph of the substance then the charge on the substance will be negative on this basis isoelectric ph is important in understanding buffering capacity enzyme activity and drug protein interactions let us understand all three one by one so the isoelectric ph helps to understand the buffering capacity of protein let's take example of hemoglobin the isoelectric ph of hemoglobin is 6.1 whereas the physiological ph is 7.4 so the amino acid present in hemoglobin which is histidine will release its proton and gets negatively charged to balance the ph you understand this coming to the enzyme activity enzymes are proteins and their active sites have charged amino acids that depends on their isoelectric ph relative to the surrounding ph so if the ph is far from the isoelectric ph the net charge on the amino acid will change that will also change the enzyme conformation or the active site chemistry and that will result in decreased enzyme activity let us take an example of amine enzyme pepsin where it is found in the stomach and its isoelectric ph is 1 which is acidic so it works best in the stomach's acidic ph medium similarly enzyme trypsin found in intestine so and its isoelectric ph is 10 which is alkaline so it works in alkaline intestine you understand now the third point is drug protein interactions so the drugs often bind to plasma proteins what are plasma proteins albumin and globulins and the binding affinity depends on the charge present on both drug and protein for example albumin whose isoelectric ph is 4.7 what charge will it have negative charge at physiological ph right so this favors its binding to positively charged drug yeah and finally the clinical and industrial use of uh, uh, isoelectric ph is that it is important in protein crystallization formulation of buffer system and designing drug delivery systems so this is all about the physical features of amino acids so let's recap the important points regarding the ampholyte properties which are in form an isoelectric ph of amino acids amino acids show ampholyte property and can act as acids or base because they contain both acidic and basic groups like carboxyl group and amino group coming to the zwitterion form at physiological ph of 7.4 amino acids exist in zwitterion form that is ionized form and so therefore their functional groups are nh3 plus and coo minus Zwitterion form explains high melting point and solubility of amino acid and it is due to the pKa of functional groups isoelectric pH and physiological pH at isoelectric pH the net charge on amino acid is zero so if the pH is below isoelectric pH the net charge on amino acids will be positive and if the pH is above the isoelectric pH of amino acids then the overall charge on amino acid will be negative at isoelectric ph amino acids show no migration in electric field they show minimum solubility and maximum precipitation so the isoelectric ph is used in purification of proteins understanding buffer capacity enzyme activity and drug protein interactions etc i hope you found this video helpful like subscribe and share for more such videos